Hi, my name is Mary Grimm, and this is my dog, Sasha. Sasha um, tore one of the ligaments in his knee. We were walking in a park, and um, he, he, just the way he's turned, he moved to the side, and it just was the right movement to tear that ligament, um, and he, it was blood curdling. It was a horrible scream, and he talks anyway. He is a talker by nature. <coughs> So it, it, my, I had neighbors come running from several other backyards to come see what had happened. Dr. Petty has been my vet about five years. And um, it was a Friday night. And Saturday morning, I called Dr. Petty's office. And for when I described, they had a feeling as to what it was. They said, well, bring him in right away. We'll fit you in. Um, and when I walked in, uh, Dr. Petty spent a couple minutes with him and knew. Surgery is the most common when they tear this ligament, and it's a pretty common surgery to do, but because of his age and because of his, his personality, he doesn't yeah. like to be touched. Um, I didn't, I was just afraid he would never walk again, and I stood there crying, and Dr. Petty said, okay, wait, I think we can come up with a better plan. I had been doing acupuncture with Dr. Petty on my standard poodle for her ear infections, and that was working very well. It really felt like a good option to try that um, because of the results have been so good with my other dog. Um, and so before I left the office, he actually started the acupuncture that very first day that I brought him in, and we agreed to call, talk again on Monday. It was a Saturday. I'm afraid to cut him open. I'm not ready to be done. I don't feel like it's the end of his life. And so I wanted to try the physical therapy and the acupuncture. We did, I think, three sessions right away. And within that first week, he went from pretty much not walking on the leg at all to starting to stand up and, and walk. And within six weeks of doing the physical therapy and the acupuncture, there was a huge difference. He was, he wanted, he started like with two houses he would walk down the street and he went to six houses and then to 12 houses. Um, so slowly but surely we built up, you know, our walks that we could take and how long he could put pressure. The most impressive thing about Dr. Petty is that he listens to me and in deciding on treatment for my dog, he looks at the breed of my dog, the personality of my dog, and frankly, my own personality, and what are the choices that I can live with, what are the choices that are best suited to, to help us move forward and for us to get better. And look at him. He's not done yet. I have more time with my dog because Dr. Petty gave me lots of alternatives and layered the treatment for him so that I still have him today. And we got to the snow, and he's a snow dog, and I was afraid I would never see him play in the snow again. You like the snow? I got my snow dog back.